Okay. I'm audible now. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, in the last class, we were discussing about some of the important definitions in order to understand the second law of thermodynamics. Is it? And those, uh, there were thermal reservoir source, working substance, sink, heat engine, and so on. So, any doubts in this particular concepts? Uh, was everything clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay, so today we will discuss uh, uh, heat pumps and refrigerators. Okay, what are these heat pumps and what are this refrigerator? So, what do you mean by refrigerator? Okay. What do you mean by refrigerator? If anyone of you know about it, everyone knows about it, everyone has felt it, uh, everyone has it in their house, I guess, the refrigerators. What is the function of it? How does it work? I will be explaining you, but what is the function of it at least? Exactly. So, refrigerator is a system where you construct it in a, such a way that it will account for removal of heat in a certain system. It might be any system. It is a closed region of space if it is there. So, it will remove the heat from the that particular closed region of space. So such a system, such a machine, even it is known as a refrigerator. And uh, contradictory to it, it is a heat pump. So what is a heat pump? Where heat is being pumped into a system. That means uh, in the refrigerators, what you'll be doing, you'll be extracting the heat from the system. Whereas in the heat pump, you'll be pumping the heat within the system. So that is how the both are differentiated. And uh, you might be surprised that both of these systems, that is heat pump and the refrigerator, look alike. Look alike in the sense uh, both the components as well as the heat flows would be same for both the equipments. But the thing is, where you will concentrate, that matter will differ, suppose. I will just try to explain it with a suitable example. Teaching board. Hmm. Okay. Now, see, there is a certain uh, system. So, two systems are there here. Equipments, I can say rather. So, first one is a refrigerator, and second one I will treat it as a heat pump. Okay. So, there are two thermal reservoirs like that where the heat has to be get transferred okay so in the refrigerator what normally i do is i extract the heat from the cold region is it so this i take it as a cold region or whatever you can say a storage region a storage region where the heat has to be extracted so using a refrigerator what you'll be doing you'll be extracting q2 amount of heat so it will be just extracting the heat from the cold region. So, and where this heat is going, is going to the another thing, where uh, another reservoir you can say. So just a right thermal reservoir, that would be better. Reservoir. Okay. So Q1 amount of heat is being pumped into the thermal reservoir. Okay. It's, it might be anything. It is just a reservoir, so I will just pump the heat in that thing. So in order to do so, should I work on the system or will I get work from the system? So now I am pumping the heat. I mean to say I am extracting the heat from the cold region of space towards the reservoir, towards the thermal reservoir. So in this particular sense, should I work on the system or refrigerator will give me the work? On the system? Exactly. So in order to extract the work from the thermal reservoir, from the lower temperature space, see lower temperature region, uh, naturally heat flows from the higher temperature region to the lower temperature region. Is that 
So it is very much difficult and impossible to extract heat from the lower temperature region to a higher temperature region. In order to do so, you should work on the system so the work input will be there that will be the difference between Q2 minus Q1 or Q1 minus Q2. Okay. Similarly, for the heat pump also, here there is a hot storage I require. Yes or no? So why do I pump the heat? I pump the heat just because to maintain the required amount of hotness in a particular storage space area. Okay. So that hot storage I require, for that what I'll be doing, I'll be pumping the heat towards it. I'll be pumping the heat towards it. If I want to pump the heat into the hot storage, what should I do first? First, I should extract the heat from somewhere so that I can pump the heat to the hot storage. So I would name this also a thermal reservoir here. Okay, there's also a thermal reservoir like this. So from which I just pumping the heat and giving to the hot storage in order to do also. So I need to work on the system. Again, it is given by the difference Q1 minus Q2 or Q2 minus Q1. Okay, so what is the difference if you observe? Is there any difference in the components with respect to, to the heat pump as well as the refrigerator. So when you look at these two, just a minute, when you look at these two, one is the heat pump, the second one is the refrigerator, is there any difference in the components? Heat reduction and heat attractions. Yes. One line in refrigerator, heat attraction is there. Okay. Extractions. Extraction is there. Okay, fine. Even yeah, here, right. also heat extraction is there uh, in the uh, heat, uh, heat pump. Also, you are extracting heat from a thermal reservoir. Is it Q2 amount? Yes or no? Yes. Then, so what is the difference? This is very interesting, guys. So what is the difference between the refrigerator and the heat pump then? If both look alike, both has same sort of component. It uh, lets the heat out. It lets the heat out. OK, fine. Yeah, yeah. What about it, it in the sense? Can you name that eight stages? Tejas? The heat energy, sir, thermal energy. Yes, thermal energy. Yeah, here it depends upon the input, sir. It depends upon the input. It in the sense again, specify what is that it? Like uh, for a. Uh... Uh, we are, we can see that uh, two different inputs are different inputs. Okay, I can run with same quantity of uh, input that is the work input for the refrigerator as well as for the heat pump. Even both will work. So the work input does not change here. I can run it with the, both the things. So, what is the major difference? I would say you first thing the components are same for both the things, okay? Whatever the amount of work input you are giving, that is the same. The direction of the heat flow, that is also same. The quantity of heat extracted and quantity of heat dumped into a thermal reservoir, that is also same. But it's a difference. Why do we call this particular thing as a refrigerator and why do we call the other one as a heat pump? Sir, refrigerator need more work done I told you, uh, Gautam, I just told you, amount of work done for both the things is the same. There's a basic level of, there is no too much uh, rocket science in this, there is basic level of understanding the things. The basic level of understanding.
for input mm -hmm. adarsh yes adarsh is that in first refrigerated cold region to heat will transfer from cold region to hot region thermal reserve yes correct but here is thermal reservoir to some other storage devices okay almost close but not right mm -hmm. to the system and from the system what is that to and what is that from uh, in uh, refrigerator uh, heat is mm -hmm. transferred from cold region to the thermal reservoir okay. Here okay. in uh, from the uh, thermal reservoir to the hot storage. Okay, okay. Even hot storage is also a thermal reservoir. Yes or no? Perfect. Yes. yes, sir. I can say even hot storage is also a thermal reservoir. I could not name anything here, uh, so they just named as thermal reservoir. So both are thermal reservoirs, but this is hot. Ultimately, this should be hot and this should be cold. Even it is same for the other thing also. This, this is hot and this is cold. So this particular thing is a hot thermal reservoir. This particular thing is a hot thermal reservoir. This particular thing is a cold thermal reservoir. And this is the cold thermal reservoir. So no difference there. <laughs> Rathan? Uh, yes, sir. I got it. Yeah. OK. Any other answers? Or shall I say the answer? Sir, in refrigeration, shouldn't the heat energy be lost to the atmosphere? Atmosphere is nothing but your reservoir there. That is nothing but your thermal reservoir, what I'm speaking about. OK. Okay, guys, so all the, the differentiation. Uh, yes, Karthik, Karthik, you can say. Work done at the uh, refrigerator is uh, less than compared mm -hmm. to hot storage. I told you, both the work inputs is the same, Karthik. Okay. Work done would be same. Hmm? Yes, now I will give you the hint, man. So, all the concept of differentiation, I told you, the components remain same, the heat flows, the workflows remain same, everything is same, even the storage is also, the, the topper ones are the hotter ones, the bottom ones are the colder ones, everything is remain same, heat is extracted from the colder region to the hotter region, which is practically impossible, so that's why you need to work on the system, it is same for the both the cases also, but the thing that differentiate between these two is the desired effect. So what is this desired effect? In, in uh, a refrigerator, what do you desire there? Whether you require a hotter region or you require a colder storage. So what is your intention there? Colder. So that Cold. means if, you, if your intention, to keep this in uh, very clear, okay, if your intention is the cold storage, your, your equipment design, is based on the intention that you should maintain a cold storage, then it is known as a refrigerator. Clear? Same thing. Same thing. If you if you want uh, if you want a hotter storage, that means your intention, that means your desired effect is creating the hotness, then then that particular equipment is called as a heat pump. That's it. That is the major difference. The desired effect. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. This, this is very important, guys. Please do observe. For refrigerator, for refrigerator, the desired effect will be this particular value. Okay? And for the heat pump, the desired effect will be this particular value here. Okay? So Q1 becomes the desired effect for the heat pump and the Q2 will become the desired effect for the refrigerator. Okay? Now let us come back to this here. 
yes you can observe the same thing which is written here can you uh, is that visible clearly uh, should i zoom in or should i zoom in is that visible clearly everything is visible yes sir okay fine see you can observe here the left side portion is what upon the left side portion is the heat pump i'll just write it in heat pump okay and the right side one is what the refrigerator okay if you observe both the things are same both the things are same but the desired effect for the heat pump will be q1 and the desired effect for the refrigerator will be q2 both has the same work input that is q1 minus q2 so there is a parameter known as a coefficient of performance cop what is cop what is cop coefficient of performance so you will be uh, analyzing the efficiency of an engine with the parameter known as a thermal efficiency yes or no so efficiency of an engine is measured in terms of a parameter which is known as a thermal efficiency which is denoted by eta yes or no similarly the efficiency or the performance of the refrigerator and the heat pump is analyzed through a parameter known as the coefficient of performance which is known as the cop and this particular cop is always given by desired effect divided by work input so work input is the thing which will be giving which is the difference of these two values q1 minus q2 and desired effect is what you require in case of heat pump you will be having a desired effect that you desire to, to be a q1 q1 should be more so q1 is your desired effect and in the refrigerator you should extract more that is the q2 is the desired effect okay so similarly cop of heat pump will be q1 divided by work input and the cop of the refrigerator will be q2 divided by work input where work input is q1 minus q2 for both the cases any doubts here let me clarify now itself any doubts guys do you have any doubts here no sir no sir understood yes sir Okay. Yes, so I, okay so i'll be taking the attendance uh, meanwhile i would request to all of you to fill this form okay uh, which asks your feedback regarding the subject and it has to be taken 15 days once it's and so just use that forms to give your feedback and remember don't just write no issues uh, you have to write in a, such a way that mm, Ah, it should be a compliment or a comment, either of the things. Okay, so don't just write no issues. Okay, so use that forms to fill it up within five minutes. Uh, in the same time, I'll be just finishing up my attendance. Hmm. Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman. Abhinav, Abhinav, okay, Adarsh, many are absent today, okay, Adarsh is there, Ashanan, Ahmad Reza, present sir, okay, Akshay Arkutian, Akshay Arkutin, Amit Yaslahari. Present, sir. Amrut Acharya. Present, sir. Okay. Anvit Sirai. Yes, sir. Ashwin K. Ashwita. Present, sir. Chandan C. Present, sir. Benoy. Fahad. Yes, sir. Faisan. Yes, sir. OK. 
can go it off. Present, sir. Gautam? Yes, sir. Javel? Present, sir. M. Karthik? Present, sir. Fazil? Present, sir. Sihab? Tausif Ali? Present, sir. Present, sir. Okay. Tausif Ali is there. Was? Was okay in Suraj. Present, sir. Nafa. <coughs> Namita. Present, sir. Nandish. Present, sir. Nartan. Niharika. Present, sir. Nashat. Present, sir. Nitin George. Present, sir. Omkar. Prarthan Jain. Present, sir. Pratish Suvarna. Project. Rakshan K. Present, sir. Present, sir. Project Rai K. Ram Present, sir. Ramdas. Ranjit. Shabbat. Present, sir. Sagar S. Acharya. Okay, Shabbat is there. Sagar S. Acharya. Shahzad Abdullah. Shashank PC. Present, sir. Shetty Suja. Okay, Shetty. Present, sir. Okay, so just Shetty. Shetty Tejas. Please start. Present, sir. Kumar. Yeah, seven Kumar. Present, sir. Steerage. Steerage. Saurabha. Sumant, Varun, Vigneshwara, Amit, Amit Sangarli, Sumant is there, okay. Amit Sangarli, next is uh, Ritual Hagada and Nilesha messaged me regarding something. Rohan Pradeep, yes, sir, present, sir. Next is Adarsh P. Muhammad Amin. Sir, Adarsh. Thanks, sir. Okay, Muhammad Amin is there. And last is Numan Asadi. Present, sir. Okay, Numan. Present. Okay. So everyone has filled the form? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, guys, then if you have filled the form, you can just leave the class. Uh, the notes will be provided to you uh, in the form of whatever you have seen in the form of a screen there. The same thing will be just given in the form of the PDF. So you can refer that and complete your notes later. Okay, uh, that is one thing. So since this is an afternoon class, I don't wish to drag it more. Okay. Take care. Have a nice time.
Thank you. Thank you. Hello, sir. Amit, yes. Sir, my attendance, I got disconnected while calling my name, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, Amit Sangoli, right? What yes, form? Sir. Okay, I'm Amit. So, what form? Ha, sir? Uh, it's just a feedback form, Numan. Uh, I've just sent it in the chat box. You have to fill it up. I know. Oh, I, my is, internet yeah. got uh, this thing. Okay. I didn't Fine. get the so link. Okay, I'll just once again send you. Fill it up. Okay. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay, pa. Take care.